The trafficking steps for one by ones and click trackers are similar to the trafficking steps of regular banners with slightly different settings. We'll start in the Media Plan tab. Here, we'll create a tiny placement that is one pixel by one pixel, so it's mm. hidden from users. We'll give the placement a descriptive name and add one by one at the end, so we can easily find it when we assign our click tracker. In the Creatives tab, Even though this one by one will not be visible to users, it's a necessary step because DFA requires us to assign a default ad to a placement before its ad tags can be downloaded. This holds true even in the case of an invisible one by one placement. We can see that the one by one GIF auto created the one by one default ad. So we know that the one by one ad tag can now be downloaded. That takes care of the one by one impression tracker. To create the click tracker, we'll first create a click tracker ad. We'll name the ad so we can see at a glance where this click tracker will redirect users on click through. We'll create this as a static click tracker since our promotional video will click through to that page. If there was a chance we would need to update it in the future, we could select Dynamic to allow us to update the URL on the fly. We'll leave the start and end dates and fill in the landing page URL. Now all we need to do is click Save. The last step before downloading our tags is to assign the click tracker to our one by one placement. We'll click the edit button next to the click tracker ad and search for one by one in the placements list. After checking off our placement, we'll click save. Because it's a static piece of click tracking code, this ad is not something DFA can activate or deactivate, so it will always remain red. Now that we've created our one by one placement and click tracker and provided the one by one gift for a default ad, we can continue on to the tags tab. Here, we can filter one by one under size and click next, so we only see our one by one impression tracker and click tracker as results. We'll deselect iframe, JavaScript, and internal redirect, and export just the one by one standard ad tag. Now all we have to do is send the tags to the publisher. Thank you.